Around 100 Israelis lost their lives in a surprise attack by Hamas militants on October 7, 2023. In a message posted on social media, the secretive leader of Hamas military wing, Mohammed Deif, declared the beginning of Operation Al-Aqsa Storm. He urged Palestinians in East Jerusalem and northern Israel to join the fight, stating that today people are taking back their revolution. This message marked his first public statement since May 2021 when he warned Israel about consequences if it didn't meet Hamas's demands regarding Jerusalem. An unprecedented attack by the ruling Hamas group, Israel responded with airstrikes and its Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, declared the country was at war with Hamas. Hamas took Israeli civilians and soldiers hostage in Gaza, though the exact number is unknown. In Gaza, Israeli counterattacks resulted in at least 232 deaths and 1,697 wounded. Palestine groups with arms in the West Bank, which is controlled by Israel, are promised to support Hamas in its ongoing attack. The fight between Israel and Hamas keeps going on. They are fighting because they both want control over the same land and Jerusalem. This fight happens often, with Israel using its military, and Hamas firing rockets. It's all taking place in a place called the Gaza Strip, which is ruled by Hamas, a group with strong religious beliefs. This fight has been happening for a long time and has caused problems with other countries like Iran. International reactions to the Israel-Hamas conflict have been varied. The Arab League, Brazil, China, Egypt, France, Germany, India, Iran, Israel, Kuwait, Morocco, NATO, Palestinian President Abbas, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, the United Nations, United States, and Venezuela have all expressed their positions. The United Nations has called for restraint. The situation remains tense, with international efforts to de-escalate the conflict ongoing.